Hey, how's it going? My name is Parker. I'm a motion graphics designer in Los Angeles, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to track your footage using Mocha in After Effects. Now, this is really helpful because a lot of short filmmakers, you know, anybody that wants to integrate or composite, say, an animation or a title text onto their footage and make it look like it's in the scene is gonna to need to track their footage so that they can tell the computer where the, the text or the picture or whatever it is needs to be at each frame. So, let me show you the finished product here of what we're gonna do. So, I've got this footage of a restaurant and an alley back there and some text and it is plastered right on there as if it were you know, either painted on or hung like a sign. So that's the title that we're gonna go for. So here I'm just gonna walk you through it. So basically, um, what I did was I went out and I shot that footage, then I came back in and I did a quick color correction, I just increased the contrast and a little bit of the saturation. Then what I did was I brought that into Mocha. So if you go over to Mocha, uh, what you have to do is you go up to this top left and say create a new project. And what that'll do is it'll prompt you to um, bring in the new QuickTime that you just did. So I brought in the new QuickTime and to analyze the footage, all you have to do is you create a, a new map. So you go up to here to the top and click the button uh, create new explain layer tool. You click on that and what that'll do is it will give you this little tool where you can click you can click on the footage and create a map in the perspective that you need it. So I'm gonna follow some of these lines here and then create this little map. And then when you get to the last point, it'll have a little circle dot like any other path and that'll close it. Um, and if you start on your first frame, then all you have to do from here is go over here to this little track spot and say track forwards. What that'll do is if you're on the first frame, it'll just track forwards from there and it'll map those four points along the footage as they move. Um, so that's basically gonna add a lot more data instead of the old way of doing it, which was getting one or two points um, that were you know, high contrast or something and track those. This has four points and it can map in, in perspective, which is really helpful. So once you have that um, mapped the whole way forward, uh, then what you can do is you go file export tracking data, then that'll bring up this prompt that asks you to do it in a couple different formats um, and different ways to save it as a text file or whatever. I just hit copy to clipboard and what that does is it copies all that data that it just tracked on your footage and it, it's like a, and like an Apple C, like it's like copying from one thing to another. All you have to do is then go back into After Effects and I created a new null object <clears throat> by saying layer new null object and what that does is it creates this null object that you can apply all that data to so go to your first frame hit apple v or edit paste and paste all that data onto the null object i can show you what that looks like down here what that does is it creates an effect called corner pin so basically it takes the data of those four points that you gave it and translates it here to the upper left, right, lower left, right. So now that four point thing that you tracked all your data is on your null object. So what you're gonna wanna do is to get your title to be basically applied to all that information is you can create your title. And here what I did was I, I scrubbed forward to about you know two and a half seconds. And then I typed in my text so I typed, you know, red roof here. And then what I did was I parented the text file to the null object. So what that's going to do is um, every time the null obje object moves, the text will move with the same information. So um, what I did was just, you can either pick whip it by grabbing it right here with this little pick whip and say like that to null three, or you can also go to this little pull down parent null three. So now that's parented to the null object, and so because the null object has all that information, now the text file is following it around with the same mapping. So that's the really quick way to just get it slapped right on there. Then you can start applying any effects like, 
I put a little drop shadow in here. Um, I also created a new camera because I wanted uh, a quick little zoom. So because with my actual camera out in the field, I didn't zoom in and out, but I just wanted to add a little punch in onto the title. So all I did was I made all my, once I got everything laid in and everything was good, I made them all 3D objects here by clicking this little cube, created a new camera, and then animated the position. So at, you know, one and a half to two seconds, I started a zoom here by either hitting C or going up to the button up here in the top, and I did a track uh, YZ. So all I did was I just started zooming around at different points as the footage is moving, zoomed back out, and now I've got a fake camera move to add a little uh, pizzazz to my title. So that's the quick, easy way to uh, track your footage, make it look really pro, and have your title integrated with your footage. Now like I said, you can do this with anything. If I had an animation of that red roof thing going around, I could have that in a composition and parent that to my null object. So once you've got the data on a null object, you can really parent anything to it to, uh, to make it look like those elements are moving around in your composition. Pretty cool stuff. Hope you learned something. Again, my name is Parker. Send any requests that you have to requests at mahalo.com. Have a good one.